Oh shit! Um. Wow. Wow. So I was at work last night, and then I go to break, and everybody's saying Paul Walker died, and I was like, "Make it the fuck out of here, dude!" Everybody fucking like rumors get put on Twitter and Facebook where people fucking die, and like I mean, this happened to Jackie Chan not too long ago. Everybody was like Jackie Chan died in this fucking stun or whatever, and he fucking he was fucking live and well. But um, come find out, Paul Walker actually died. And, um, I don't know, I feel kind of bad about that because I kind of feel like I jinxed the dude. Okay, I mean, I spent years upon years saying the Fast and Furious movies are fucking trash. All they are is fucking easy money for Hollywood. You just go out there and you fucking put fucking cars in a movie, fucking half-naked bitches, and you're going to make your money back. Also, a reason why fucking uh, Michael Bay did Pain and Gain, whatever the fuck that movie's called, which is basically the same shit. So I've been bashing these movies for as long as anybody's ever fucking known me. Like, I'm like, I refuse to watch them fucking movies or whatever. So, Thursday, I finally break down, right? I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me stop being a fucking hypocrite. At least try the movies first. Because they were all on sale during Black Friday for two bucks a piece. And I bought one through five. And six is getting ready to release. So I'm like, you know what? That's ten bucks. I'll sit for ten bucks. I get the whole series. I can sit down one weekend and actually give them a fair assessment. You know, give them a fair chance, right? And then the next fucking day, Paul Walker fucking dies. And you're telling me it ain't my fucking fault? What the fuck am I supposed to think? I mean, one day he's fucking breathing and happy and everything, and I hate fucking Fast and Furious. The next day I buy one through five, and he fucking dies. What the fuck kind of shit is that? I mean. I jinxed the hell out of that poor guy. And, and, wow. I mean, I don't even know what the fuck to say. I, 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 I wish that would work for Michael Bay. I wish if I went, like, I'm buying, like, all these Michael Bay movies, he would fucking end up dead. Um, but unfortunately, the good people die. But, um, you know, I, I actually feel kind of bad about that. And not that I like Paul Walker. The only movies I ever seen Paul Walker in was Into the Blue One, which I own. Fucking sucks. And, um, uh, I seen the last, uh, Fast 2. Was it Too Fast, Too Furious? I seen, like, the last 30 minutes of that. And that was the only two things I ever seen Paul Walker in. Um, and, so I'm not a big Paul Walker fan. I really didn't see his stuff. But, you know, I feel bad. I feel bad anytime someone in the movie business passes away. Because it's a business I respect the fuck out of. And, uh, I feel really, really bad about it. So, I think this weekend, I will sit down and have a little... Paul Walker a thon, I guess you would say. And um, you know, kind of see some of his you no know, without a doubt his career defining work. This is what's gonna he's gonna go down remembered as Fast and the Furious series. It's gonna be something he's gonna be remembered as. And uh, I'm gonna sit down, watch his stuff, and before I actually criticize it, give it a fair chance, which I should have done, regardless if it's an easy cash uh pickup for Hollywood still give it a, a fair chance. I should have, you know, done that. But, you know, regardless of what I feel about Hollywood as a corporation and how they just milk every cent out of easy stuff, um, you know, I'm going to give Paul Walker a chance and watch his shit. Um, so that leaves the big question real quick to what's going to happen in the Fast and Furious movies. I read an interview where he said they were doing at least Fast 10. Up to Fast 10. I think Fast 7 is done being filmed. It's coming out in 2014. And then he said 8, 9, 10 was guaranteed. So with him dying, what does that mean for the franchise? Uh, personally, do not replace him whatsoever. The best way I would go about doing this, and this has come from a guy who never watched the movie, so I don't know any, every, anything about the series. But I think Fast 8 should start with a funeral for him, come to find out he died, and then have someone who's related to him take his spot. Maybe bring in um, a cousin, a brother, or a relative that looks similar to him that can take over that spot, that role. Which, um, you know, too bad the Need for Speed movie's coming out. Cause I think Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad would do a decent job filling that roster. You know, like, hey, I'm his cousin, you know, yeah. And then, you know, he just kind of fill in that role. Or they could do a funeral scene, acknowledge it, and just go on without them with the next one. But they have to address it. They can't just take them out. 
They have to address to address it. If he died in the in real life, he has to die in Fast and Furious because this is the role he will be remembered in. It's like if Mark Hamill would fucking die, and like God forbid they film episode seven and eight, and Mark Hamill dies after the shoot of eight, they have to address that in episode nine. They would have to address how he died. Uh, sort of something like the fact that in Matrix 2, the, the Oracle was different because the way they played the Oracle at the end of 2 died. They addressed it, not saying that she died, but they addressed how she looks different. So they definitely need to address it because this is going to be huge. And I wouldn't be uh, uh, surprised they had this little dedication thing for them or something at the end of Fast 7 or beginning of Fast 7. But um, anyway, that's what I feel about the whole Paul Walker thing. It's sad. I'm not going to even sit there and pretend like I'm a huge fan, but I'm not. But whenever someone in this industry does go, it feels bad. And I'm just telling you right off the bat. If fucking Fast 7, like, banks a lot of fucking money like the Dark Knight did when Heath Ledger died, I'm going to be fucking pissed, okay? Um, he better not win a fucking Oscar for this. That's all I'm fucking saying. Because... Fast 7 is not Oscar worthy, okay? None of the Fast movies are fucking Oscar worthy. So with that said, that's really all I have to say about the situation. Uh, try to throw little jokes in there just to try to make everybody kind of feel better about the situation. But um, tell me what you think in the comment box below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Be sure to share, like, and comment. Also, be sure to subscribe. And that's a lot of fucking be sure. Be sure to do all this fucking shit at the end of this video. Fucking like, fame, fresh, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for listening to me ramble for the past six, seven minutes. Um, until next time, God, dumb storm's aching. That's my opinion.